I I understand. I feel you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today is a really really cool video. This is my actual first sponsored video. I was like, oh, okay. That does not mean that I won't tell you everything I think about these products because I definitely do and I always will and sponsoring a video will never change any of that. This brand is a new brand. It's called J Beauty. So they have sent me two palettes to review. They also sent me an eye primer, which I did use on both looks. They sent me three lip glosses. Thank you. Sorry, my daughter is very sick right now and all she wants to do is be right next to me, but I have to film. And then I also have a pair of lashes from them, which I am wearing. Now, along with this video, they also sent two extra palettes. Sorry. Hey, baby. How you doing? Okay, I'm sorry. We've had technical difficulties. My daughter is very sick right now. I had to go appease her. But they also sent me an eye... We're, I don't remember if I said this. And they actually sent two palettes here to give away to you guys. So I have one I'm giving away on here, which is the one that I'm wearing today. And then I have this one that I am giving away on my Instagram. And they're both up right now. So you can enter this giveaway and then go enter my Instagram giveaway if you guys want a chance at winning either one of these palettes. I do have a code Kira, K-E-A-R-A, -E if you want to use it. For an additional amount of money off though, which equals a total of 35% off, you can use the code SANTA, S-A-N-T-A in all caps, and that will give you a total of 35% off if you guys are wanting to order anything. So these lashes are $16.99. They do come in this case here, and they come in an additional package here that has a little bow. It's actually really adorable. There is a lip gloss bundle on their website with these two for $17. And these are really nice glosses. I would highly suggest you use a very small amount. If you do use a larger amount, it gets very goopy and stringy in between your lips. So the less amount the better with the glosses. This one uh, actually is like a, a more of a, a shimmery kind of formula, so I found this gloss does not tend to do that. You can actually use this gloss and it's beautiful. These two seem to be the more thicker kind of formula, so these two do this. This is Morena and Kimmy. So just remember to use a lighter amount and you'll be just fine. This is actually so beautiful. I tried to show you guys it in the sun and I epically failed epically failed at that, but it's okay, I attempted. This is the All That Glitters palette, and this is currently on sale for $30, and I believe their sale items are also applicable with the code as well, but this is what this palette looks like. These are pressed glitters, and I did use glitter glue with them, and they worked fine. They're not the most sparkly glitters like if I'm back here I don't think you can tell that I'm actually wearing glitters but if I zoom in you guys can see them a little bit better I didn't have any issues with this palette I actually used their primer and their primer actually smoothed out my lid more so than my P. Louise did P. Louise color corrects as like it primes this one is a clear base but it does make your eyeshadows go on really smooth. It didn't leave any kind of like textured area. It was very soft, very easy to blend shadows on top of. So I, I'm actually highly impressed with this. This next palette right here is the Pretty Neutral palette and this is on sale for $30. And this one was actually really beautiful as well. I didn't have any issues blending these out. And actually this color and this color I used in my look and they're like actually really, really pretty. This one right here is kind of like a duochrome peachy pink to gold. This is like a lavender to champagne and this one is like a peachy pink. So it's, they're, they're really pretty actually. Let me show them to you right here on my arm. Oh, 
Oh, I probably shouldn't have shown you over my tattoo, but oh well. Studio lighting doesn't really show the amount of shimmer that these have, but they are really shimmery. They're really, really beautiful. They did want me to mention that they are 100% women, minority owned, and veteran owned. So support is greatly appreciated. Now I am a veteran, as you guys know. Here is some of the product shots. I'm just gonna filter through both palettes. So I was a nurse in the army. That's my daughter. Sorry, what are you doing? I was a nurse in the army, so I have a soft spot for all veterans. I'm sorry, you guys. She's sick, I can't keep her out of this video. I'm trying really hard. I've had to stop recording like 50 times because she's just, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> hey guys, sorry about that. So my battery actually died and I, I had to do this another day because I had to go somewhere. So let me just quickly let you know what's on my face. It is this palette. I did do a completely new look. I am wearing this gloss glimmer right in the center of my lips. I don't know where this cut off, but let me just quickly tell you the rules for the giveaway. I have gotten this palette really dirty, you guys. I've actually been using this a lot. It's really fun to work with. It created such a pretty, like, wintry fall look. And I used all the shades in here, every shade. Right in the center, I wet this lavender color and just packed it on just a teeny bit and it is just like glowing. So it's really beautiful. So let's do the giveaway. I am giving away this palette right here, all the glitters on my YouTube. And then I am doing this palette, the one that I'm currently wearing over on my Instagram. They are both live now. Instagram has its own set of rules, but for this, you guys will also be getting the Gloss Moreno, which is the really beautiful nude, and you will also be getting the Eyeshadow Assurance Primer. So you will be getting three things on the YouTube giveaway. So to enter, all you guys have to do is obviously be subscribed to my channel, but have your subscriptions on public so I can check to see you're subscribed. And let me know your favorite item that I showed you in this video. By the way, sorry it's so dark out right now. It's only four, but you know, it gets super dark in the winter really early. I'm going to end this January 12th. So you guys have enough time to get some entries in here and Instagram if you guys are interested in any of these products that I am doing for the giveaway. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the looks. And oh yes, it is international, so anyone can enter. Well, first off, it, it's completely clear, this primer, so you can see all the veins in my eyelid. But we're going to work with it. So far with this primer, these are actually blending out really beautifully. It's a very soft look. It's very pretty. I mean, I like these colors. I'm not having any issues blending them, so now I'm going to try and see how the darker shades work, and then we'll try these shimmers, because these shimmers are really pretty. Pretty. I'm gonna try and wet this real quick on my finger and try it that way. I want to see if it adds any intensity to the shimmer. Yeah, it did. It made it a little bit more intense. This is a pretty color. It's a nice, like, peachy tone. I'm leaving the inner corner here bare so I can use a different color. And for this inner part here, I'm going in with this beautiful lavender shade, and I am also going to wet the brush. 
Ooh, that's really beautiful. So I just added a quick liner and I'm not proud of this liner, you guys. Like my eyes are so hooded that, look, all right, my eyeliner looks great right here. It's beautiful. It's straight. It looks sharp. But then as soon as I put my head down, this fat flab of death eats up my entire eyelid and it immediately falls down over my wing and makes it look super wonky. Like, hooded eye ladies, I feel your pain. Anyways, let's go over the products I used. So for lips, I went in with their pink gloss and this is in the shade Kimmy. So for blush, I went in with the Becca Be A Light palette and I went in with her blush here. It did have like that orange pink kind of glow to it that matched the eyes. By the way, this peach shade in the middle when I move my head, it is a duochrome. It changes from like a peach to a pink. It's actually really beautiful. And that lavender is like very icy, very cool toned, very silvery. It's, I actually super love this. And it's really wearable. This is a very wearable palette. For highlight, I can't remember what I went in with. For highlight, I actually went in with Ciate, and this is their Confetti Highlighter. I did get this in BoxyCharm, and I will link that video above if you guys are interested. This is a really pretty peachy bronze highlighter, so it is a little bit on the dark side, but it does have this beautiful, like, pinky peach bronze shift to it and I felt like it pulled in this eye look perfectly. So that is the first look, you guys. Let me know what you thought of this palette. Let's move on to the second look with a more glittery, brighter feel. So it is very dark. It is, a, it's, it's, an, it's another day, but I am using this palette, All That Glitters, and this one right here, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this together. These are very like warm toned neutrals with, with a couple pops of pink for all like the mattes and shimmers. And then there's these pressed glitters down here. So I am obviously gonna be doing a warm tone look, which I'm okay with. So my hair is super fluffy. Just ignore my hair this entire time. <laughs> but let's get started with this. I'm sorry it's so dark. It, it's really cloudy and overcast right now, and it is just super dark out, even though it's 10 a.m., so we're just going to have a darker intro and outro. The first look, though, however, I believe is nice and bright and pretty, so... But let's go ahead and get into this. And I am using their eyeshadow primer again, so I have nothing on my lids. You can see all my veins. It did actually the first look it it did seem to make the eyeshadow stick really really good so you couldn't even tell that I needed color correction on my lids Wow that is pigmented that's, that's really pigmented that's going on so smoothly too I'm impressed. I'm, you know what? I am going to say this. My P. Louise is not as smooth looking as this one is. This one looks so much smoother on my actual eyelid than on top of P. Louise. That's weird. Wow, that's really beautiful. Okay, okay then, okay, 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 okay. All right, that actually blended really nicely. I'm trying something different. I don't know. I feel like I do the same eye styles over and over, so I want to try something different with these glitters. So I'm actually going to put a 
shimmer on my crease and try something. I don't know how this is gonna look. <laughs> Y'all don't judge me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and end up cutting my crease, but I'm gonna pop in some glitter right here and kind of swoop it up a little bit. So it's kind of at the crease of the cut crease. You'll see what I mean. So I'm gonna put on some glitter glue and what color should I do? Definitely this gold here, yeah. I'm definitely gonna do the gold and then I'm gonna cut the crease nice and sharp. I don't know, I'm coming up with something as I go. I just wanna try the glitters, the shimmers, and the mattes to see how they all work. So now I think what I'm gonna do is a gold shimmer and then I think I'm gonna do a very large wing with more glitter and so this is gonna be gold and then the wing is gonna be like I don't know maybe these two colors right here and then I'll add in this red glitter right here to the wing so yeah let's do that So that blended really nicely together. So now I'm going to do another cut crease and do those other two matte shades in like a big kind of wing. So I put on the lip gloss Morena. It's a really pretty kind of nude brown, but look. It's pretty thick. I think I used a little bit too much. So I think the lighter you go, the, the better. Um, but it's a really beautiful color. And y'all, I messed up my liner so bad. Like my hooded eyes hate me. I put the liner on and as soon as I put it on, it's smudged everywhere. Cause look, it just eats it up. And then uh, that's not rounded. That's more like out. I meant it to look more like this one. But my eyes are just not looking like I was wanting them to. I'm actually going to put on their lashes. I don't know the style. It just has a number. It doesn't have like an actual style on the box, but Look how cute this is. This is beautiful. It's like a little present. And then when you open it up, it's a really pretty like little crystal container. So these are the lashes. They are gigantic. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on, but I just wanted to quickly go over what I used for the rest of my face. I went in with these two highlights right here. And then for my blush, it's very orange. I didn't realize how orange this was until I put it on. But I actually went in with the Alomar palette in this color right here. So it's, it's very orange. Because that is all I have for this look. Let me know, Anissa. I mean, I think I need a lot more practice on graphic liner. That's, I'll, I'll, I'll get better at graphic liner for you guys. If you guys enjoy these kind of looks, maybe I'll try some more. But this eye is just so hooded. So hooded. It just, like, look. It's just it, nothing. It, I, it, this eye sucks. This eye sucks. This eye is decent. But this eye is just the crappiest eye ever. But anyways, that's all I have for this video, you guys. 
Don't forget to enter this giveaway and don't forget to enter the giveaway on my Instagram. They're both up right now at the same time so you can go do that. And thank you so much again for sponsoring this video, J Beauty. And that is all I have for this video so I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Bye!